Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make when you click a spray, an uh, event happens or something happens. Last video I showed how to use the broadcast block if you want to go check that out. But, so basically, there's two ways you can do this. You can do this when the spray clicked. So if I just click on the spray, we'll keep doing the hello. If I click on the spray, it says hello. It's, it's that simple. Um, so that, that's literally how you use this type. You just, whatever you want, like you use that and whatever you want to happen, you put under. And when you click, it does that. Now, if you want this, like you can use this, but there is another way. If you do forever, when green flag clicked, forever, if, and then you want to get an and, this, an and, and sensing, mouse down and put that in the first thing of the and. And then for the second and, you want to do touching mouse pointer. What this does, it's checking if the mouse is down and the mouse is touching the sprite. So, like, it's touching and then and it's down. If I were to press it down but it's not touching, nothing would happen. Because it's an and and both have to be true. Both have to be correct. And then say hello. So look, if I click here, nothing happens. If I hold, if I just hover above him, nothing happens. But if I actually click, it, um, he says hello. Really, like, you would use this mostly if you want this to happen under another requirement. So like, for example, you want only this to happen if uh, here, let's just make a new thing, basketball, you only want this to happen if, let's just get an equals, and then if backdrop name, what's the basketball one, right. if backdrop name equals basketball one. So like, m you would mainly use the if mouse down and touching mouse pointer if you want a certain requirement to be met when that's happening. So, it works, but if I change the backdrop, I could have just done it simpler, but I did that and go back to code and I do it now it won't work because the back the backdrop is not basketball one if you want me to go over like how to use this backdrop name equals or something else let me know but yeah I know like I, I use like something complicated in this video but I might cover it in another time but yeah that's basically it so basically what this does, it's checking if the mouse is down and the mouse pointer is touching it so it knows. And review is this one. This Since you can't connect this to anything, that's why you can also do this because this happens no matter what without a requirement because like you can't connect anything to it. You can't put an if in it. Well, I guess you, yeah, I guess you can. You can do this. But, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Those are two ways of doing it. So, I hope that helped. Like and subscribe. And, yeah, bye.